team fights, but it does mean that at least in the early stages, yes, you can get uh, caps on the roams with the Aurelian Sol. You will still get push in this mid lane, but I still think you've got a huge amount of mid jungles control. Yeah. Watch this play as Sheo has skirted through the brush, so BDS might be able to collapse. Ice and LeBron are here. They don't expect it, and Mickey has to flash away. Now Yike and Broken Blade are in trouble. Flash from Yike. Caps tries to breathe, but he can't. Nork and Broken Blade decimating smash down. That is first blood. Given over to Ice, so smart from BDS here in the opening of game one to skirt around that vision controllers for Mickey as well. Lebrov chasing him down, but Yike is still here. It's a bait. There's Ignite, Heckflash over the wall to help out, but Mickey is one more auto away and eventually dies. Yike can't follow up. Lebrov gets the kill. Two for BDS to open up is even better than one. And then we end up with a lane swap here as well for G2. They were trying to move hand time and Mickey up towards that top side for Halo Lebrov. The crash down though, I mean, Lebrov may be a little bit greedy. Decimating Smash not in the right spot. He chains it back. Shao now coming in as well. This level one Ash still a pain as Yike is dismounted for the time being. Shao flashes over, looking for a third. We'll find it. Broken Blade just came back to lane. He walked in here, trying to help out his jungler as Lebrov now dies as well. Four kills and he able to give us more. I hope it shows what the series is going to be like. It's the voice of light. Follows through the next tick onto Shao as he's out of range. But Caps and Broken Blade. Are Mickey and Hans Sammer move top as Void Grove spawn. Cool, you're going to be able to get that. Because Labrov had to reset, he's only just coming back out of the map, which means that the timer for you to try and move and trade for Dragon isn't really there because you'll end up giving over a lot of time to G2 to start to put pressure onto the top tier one, whereas you're just a barrier. Jungle pressure from Shea that he's exerting while he's doing Dragon to consistently push in and be a nuisance all over the map. But the thing is, when you're playing a double AD carry bot lane, you are the ones that need to. It's just G2 trying to make sure they can scale in this game. But BB, I think you die here, bud. The wave should be cleared out almost at the very least. But as you said, Chains Corruption, everything launched into him. He's dead. Number one here for BDS. Now the next wave is crashing in as well. Totally fine in the mid lane. Just being able to shove in. He's got a turret play for himself. Yep. And this mid lane, slowly but surely, Luke is getting an advantage. And thanks to Picture and Picture, we can see Adam also getting access to those turret plates. But how much can he get? Because he might have teleport, might have to use it depending on what happens here. BDS will hovering around Grubs, but no longer. Ice and LeBrov look like they just want to poke out as it's succeeded to, to G2. And that means we're going to get five here for G2 while that's going down. And again, more plates are taken. So it's like, again, a handful. What are we trading off? Uh, that's the thing. I actually like this trade from BDS. They're like, we don't for which is rotate back boss, shove out this bot wave, then transition into dragons and play for dragon stacking off of the advantages that you have. Now, we'll say, even though the back was interrupted, and even though we're... Here's the TP into bot to try and disrupt the play. Gonna be forced. It's Caps coming in. Chains corruption too early. It's actually PV and Caps coming through. The charge follows through. They go for LeBron first, so the Magnus Storm used, and Mickey somehow picks up the kill. But... Slow down the aggressive plays from BDS. Yes, you'll get terror traded, but G2 are denying the dragon stacking, and all they want to do is find a way to slow down the pace of the game to get uh -oh. to two and a half, three items, and maybe yeah. take Flash a bit more Storm here. Bringer. Let's just see if anything's used. The Astral Flight as well follows up, and remember, the arrow... On the other side from the bolt comes through, but let the sky fall once more on the ice and the shutdown over to BB the as GT's. well. GT grouping up. You mentioned the teleports coming in, but it's too late. He bops him out into the corner, separates G2, and it might be enough. Now Adam is splitting skies of his own as Decimating Smash gets him away from Hans Sala, but he's separated without a support by himself. He'll give a reset over to Adam on the other side of the fight. Roast himself. Like, screw 80 carries what when you got Mickey on your team. That's my goat. <laughs> is he playing Nautilus or Lulu? The top side while Adam is trying to get a turret of his own. Now that it's squishier past the 14 minute mark, BDS is still able to... Terra's down, so at least the moment you're ahead in the turret game when it comes to this, but caps. Nuke with the all in, the swoop and boop is that would like to call it, but the old in response, Nuke got the turret, will we trade it? Yes, he will. The Dex Rocket as well gets rid of the main space here for Adam to take this bot lane turret. Works out well. BB though already put the threat onto the tier two. So BDS will they're going to invade into top side. Uh, Forest the disconnect here from BDS on mid lane into the top tier two. Yeah. And maybe even look for the pick on Labrov if he goes too far. But there's that trade. But like second dragon, a cloud, doesn't really matter for BDS. Immediately, you can see again this engage is not over as Broken Blade runs into a wall. Yike now trying to run into ice, but. It forces them off with mid lane tower, but it's very respectful well, anyway. Mickey they just took him for the Yeah. Mickey's, they know he's gone. But I don't know if you can really do particularly much here for BDS. You've been trying to play at range with Ice, with Labrov as well, just looking for that poke. But, gonna have to kick this one a little bit slow still, I think. Broken Blade, the Lumberjack just running into a man with a big chopping sword. Arrow flies through, not sure where it was going, but it's now down again. Yike going to get tagged out as well. BDS are definitely the healthier ones, apart from Ice, who now eats the lettuce. And 
It's really good protein, apparently. Actually, it's not. Don't listen to me. Lettuce doesn't have protein in it, I it's think. It's very hydrating. Yeah, yeah, it's hydrating. There you go. More important here. Wave clear from G2 comes through again. There's the flash and the Magnus Storm as well. Not hitting. Yike. A bit of a whiff as Teleport comes through, but G2 are already on the back end of this fight. Even without Adam coming in, Yike is down. That's an engage tool as the World Ender flies through. For BDS starting this one off big in the series would open it up, but the Skies fall once over as Caps now gets out of range. Sky Splitter tags him off. Mickey, speaking of getting tagged, he's getting run down by Ice. Just out of range, if only just the Yomu's pop. Here we go again. Broken Blade running in, charging, saving his life. The hero lumberjack they needed. The cops in, but no TP. Hunter and this rocket. Baron's going Hunter down Hunter fast. Hunter has rocket. Hunter has rocket. It comes in, but no steal. They're going to try and Level. burst it down with the stun coming through as well. Caps can't get in. He has to watch. It goes down to BDS. The Baron flushed away from us. Oh, so close to being BDS. Blowing open this game. The Baron should definitely help them. They have to try and run. Labarov's doing a great job of finding those slows, but the overextension then on bot lane from Ice, a little bit... The points as well with the inner turret getting shredded down by that Caps, Super Mega Cap. Meanwhile, Caps getting caught out. He goes Golden Chains of Corruption there, but Caps is not going to be dropping down. The Singularity follows through Dagda. This is a turnabout for G2 if Shao can't get out of there. He's getting chased up as Broken Blade holds his in, but Adam now to flank, and the Falling Star helps out, but yike, way too deep again. Adam heals on up. You said it perfectly. He won't die here. LeBrov also poking out, and G2 can't finish... The Line. There, the BDS, back. the poke Ooh, is there. Chains corruption hits on the caps. Remember, he uses Zonius in the last play, half HP, but again, not able to finish the job. It's the only shining light for G2 at this point because the rest is BDS favored. Man, we're talking. Wait, we're looking at side lanes. They're pushing in and pressuring, but maybe it doesn't matter. Onslaught, Onslaught coming through onto ice. It's Broken Blade in the back line, and he takes the Chains corruption while Adam is getting poked. They're playing front to back. G2 again, the front to back. A Death Rocket again, excitement from Hans Summer. G2 are allowed to play their game as the skies will fall. I can hear a once more, G2 have been given the game that they shouldn't have been given. BDS walk into their trap, walk into their front line, and now walk into Cavs. You turn can... onto BDS. G2 pull the trigger. They get it on Ice. They get it on Adam. They get it. Or playoffs. How are G2 able to turn games around that feel like they have no business? being turned around, scaling or not, I don't care. Wait, trying to wrap in behind G2 and catch them Ooh, off guard. The but... Here's Caps. Crash down as well, Astral Flight, Magnet Storm, a Sky Falls once more. Adam is gonna get tagged out, he almost survived it, but his nuke flies on in, the stun from LeBron helps out, he gets auto attack, Sonya's down as well, but Hunt Summer here to help out, Nuke's ulti is good as well, sends Yike away, the space build as Hunt Summer flashes over, you maniac! Absolute monster, putting on absolute cinema. BDS lose two, G2 with one. They're the ones with Baron and Eve, and no nuke saves the day. Han Summer starts feeling himself on this jinx. G2 just feel absolute BDS. They're trying desperately to keep them off the towers, but nobody kills Sion when Sion is this big and ice. A lethality virus tickling as best he can. But Mickey. Not so lucky. Taking a bit Hans of damage. Is excited. He gets excited off inhibitors now. Remember, Shao going to get tagged away. The range is there. Minion wave coming in. BDS are behind us, and G2 are just looking for the end. 35 minutes in, as Adam is up in five seconds, but it won't not matter. Hunt Summer keeps getting excited, 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 excited. He's gone. He's cleansed. He's dead. Mickey now left alone, and he too will drop. G2 got excited, TP's looking away. for the end. And the TP in front means that G2 might get punished hard. Running forward, Broken Blade is interrupted, and Adam is also going to stop him in his tracks. Top lane is battled out, and as frustrating as it is to try and kill this Scion, BDS need to do it quick because so many members of Dev Cap coming through. Sends a falling star down. Adam as well getting tagged around and gets executed. The ulti from Yike as well sends up another. I thought BDS were going to switch it around again. Nuke TP to the bottom wave and didn't decide to join. Uh, and now Labrov has to flash away. His nuke is there. Can they kill Caps? Wait, 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 wait. Caps is huge. Caps is huge. Sends in the singularity. Flashes away from the Empress Divide. Yike is jumping over the wall. Gets a star. And look at the text. A rally. Oh, they're going to start to push him mid. A BDS. They will trade Dragon for Vision Control over the Baron. Yeah, broken inhibitor on the bottom side, that wave is eventually gonna become a problem. So G2 are playing, no, they're not playing patient, not at all. They're just finding a pick up the Shao, Stormbringer out, as Yikes angle, actually really good. Magnus Storm on the nuke, he has to disengage at half HP. The skies now descend again, the damage is just busted. He flies on in, gets stopped by a couple of soldiers, but what are soldiers to a god? 
Memphis Lebrov running for his life. It's unfair. It's disgusting. You turn away. No one can look at it because Caps now runs the map, runs the world, and G2 run the heads of BDS. They are mind controlling them. Adam's going to resurrect, but Caps went golden to stay alive and set up a potential quadra. Ticking away. There it is. Where's my Penta? Give it to me, he says. He cries, he flies, he chases, and G2 thrive. Look at Shao on his deathbed. Look at the Penta being set up. He won't give it to him, but another flight. We look in the picture and picture. We wait for Caps to get a Penta in the upper bracket final. We're at least seconds away, Shao. Just give it to him. And finally, finally, Caps has shown how much in BDS's head he truly is. Well deserved. Don't doubt that. yourself. Oh, it's just this, this is the classic. <laughs> this is the classic G2. It yeah. is. Isn't it? Play, play so many carriers during regular splits, but when playoffs come around, they tame him on duty. But fire, they're one. The I'm gonna try and catch him out here. Health bar is okay for Mickey X and Hantam. But remember, they're only level one. The Brawl level two walking in to support his jungle. Yike hovering here. Will Caps do anything about it? Well, he's been poked out too. So it's just what you see is what you get as a miss smite. Shao takes it off him. Yike could have had that, but now Mickey X with the re-engage by himself with Ignite down is hoping for the best, but he's just given first blood over to Ice. A bit of a whoopsie from Yike leads to the end of the map as that wave starts to crash. Won't get the Void Group, but at least it stops Adam from falling behind in the matchup against Cassante. Yeah, I wonder if Yike's gonna take two or three here. Remember, we've seen a lot of plays throughout the split about adapting to the grubs. There's also, you know, the patch coming in that now heals them too. Makes it a little bit longer to take, but Yike is going to stick it out for all three. Not worried about any tempo towards bot side, towards the dragon anyway. It just gives him a bit more, more. So, Caps, though, this Ooh. is not the position that I think you want to be in. He might have to flash over this. He sees Shao now, flashes over the Emperor's Divide. Nuke gets stunned up. It's a good call, otherwise he was just dead again. As Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Lebrov has overstepped. Ice was not here. Hansam has given a kill. Looking at what Caps was up to, but Yeah, just over trying to force Mickey to stay on the map that little bit longer against oh, no, Ice. We come back in. No level 6 here for the 80 carries. Dredge line away, but Shao's in. Look at his damage. Sky split auto. Ice matches it, but in the end, it's the problem to get it. As Hans Hummer also flashes away, but Culling is available. Ice is ready to lock him down. Aqua Prison there. Stormbringer turns off the turret. Hans Summer is just dead doo doo. Ice picks up. Is it focus spot? That's exactly what BDS are doing, but Dagda, who's nearby? Caps is here, has the Weaver's Wall. Culling is there, Weaver's Wall is going to cut them off. Now for the range on Han Summer, they separate Sheriff from the rest of his team. Caps is in a 1v2, but the Death Rocket gets over the wall. Mickey X sacrifices his life, but will it be in vain? BB was the only person ahead, but how much longer is that going to last? Under the turret plating, Ice is going to take one before they go for the engage. The Aqua Prism perfect as well. Ice tanks up then, Lebrov, but it doesn't turn onto a full on dive. Meanwhile, on the top side, they commit. Explosive Carto separates the mini wave still thin. The rain from Han Summer through the rocket's good, but Mickey has to sacrifice his life. Hans might get excited, but Nuke is now here to separate, turn and burn. The Empress Divide is there, but Hans is still at the end of getting excited here. So G2 going for another one. Yike jumps in, gets a stun up. Nuke flashes away again as well. BB, by the way, died off screen. Nuke gets himself a grass proc. Hans doesn't get the kill. Caps does. We are stuck. He ends up tanking it. And that's where both BDS solo laners end up falling, but Nuke gets a ton of gold onto that bottom side. So. It's kind of a big win for Ice if BDS are able to play around them. But a, a nice little bit of gold back into favor of Caps, especially with these Void Grubs going over as well. That's all six now to G2. Yeah, he's the only one with a gold lead again over his counterpart. I was just talking about BDS running the early in the West and how sometimes it can do nothing. I think it's impossible to do nothing when you have a lead like this and you're about to get first turret blood on said Lucian as well. The problem is Adam's about to die again. Oh. So... Braga's taking it all, I guess, and Cap's coming through. That's good burn, but Mickey, Mickey dies. They haven't finished the kill off yet. They reset turret aggro. Zap avoided. Hans takes two on the way out. This is not clean. New coming through. Hans under turret now and threat again. New comes in for round two of the same robbery. They get the kill eventually as Yike is coming through. This might turn into a repeat dive. No flash available for Nuke. Is he coming into his death side? Big jump there. Zap as well. Yike gets the kill and flashes away as the title away from LeBron. Couldn't help out. We continue to dance and G2 get in the turret top side. Claw something back. Even broke time on the terror. Yep. So BDS, there's the group up that we wanted. It's going to open things up, move back to that 2k gold margin. And while we do turning and burning, 
getting down one target as quickly as possible onto Mickey again. Cullen comes through. The damage amplified. Mickey dead. Ice with his force. Like upside. G2 want this fight. I'm gonna fully force it, as you said, though. Nuke can join in. Good Aqua Prison. There's the wall to come through as well. Shao gonna Stormbringer out. The Tidal Wave zones up all four, but the explosive cast and the Nuke indeed. But it ain't the mid laner of BDS. It's the Nuke from Han Summer and Caps. Man, where did they go, Dagda? And they just got absolutely. Yoke yeah, picked up one of them, but we'll see in the replay, like. Again, it doesn't matter what champion it is, does it? It's Broken Blade gets the turret on the bot side. Oh. Up and over. Oh, never, yeah, never mind. No, never gone. mind. We don't need to look because Nuke might just die. He accepts his fate. Sun Turret's up. Mickey with a perfect hook. Zap is there. Ulti burn, but Hans Sama says it. It's to set up four plays, but we just haven't really seen Shao grouping up at Lavrov and Nuke. Wave culling onto Hans Sama. Look, he takes all the damage. Shao gets in the back one. Sky Splitter. Hans Sama down. Now Stormbringer brings Yike to the ground. BDS with two big picks. Broken Blade came in late, but it's a setup from Lushanami, if you're reliant on Lebron, no bloody problem. And that's what exactly they needed to do. Get the rest of the team with ice. And he grabs him by the scrub of the neck, says, let's bloody go, lads. And now Baron is on the card. You have no jungler. Reby, gone low, gone the down. Slam and a barrel roll and explosive cast. Get another one, hits the ground. Ice picks up yet another BDS on the Baron. It's only Caps and Mickey, but as Tag just said, there ain't no smite in G2. Gonna have to be polite. 3k, down it goes, and BDS swing it back. But the success from BDS. Let's quickly talk as Mickey might be caught out. Acro Prison behind in case he turns away, but he was still CC'd up. Zap there as well. Caps with a good seismic shot back. Stormbringer out of the way. Wait, BDS, you're too deep. I'm about to compliment you. Stop it. Getting excited as Hans Summer and Shao. Ice run away. G2 might be low, but they're not forgotten here as the ultimate comes through. The Weaver's Wall says to Shao what nothing else could. You go nowhere. A shutdown has broken blade zones them off. Hexgate rig using so well. Going into brush. BDS don't know. Ice walking in, thinking, hang on a minute, where's this guy? The all out burn. One versus three, broken blade. I respect the. Oh, Mickey and Caps, oh. you need to link okay. your players. Okay, 1k, dragon down. BDS still thinking about a new game for their mid game. This is a nice way from Labrov, just owns away the members of G2 through, but if you're tanking that full culling, you're going to know all about it. Flash, Mickey. Oh, wow. Pick. Actually, it's on the ice. Step charges there. This is what we said. Need to be picked. LeBron and Ice being tagged away, but no one from G2 can get nearby. Caps ran forward. He's going to get tagged out as well as the all out from Broken Blade. He's disengaged. Shao is done. For G2 in trade, or maybe the TP into volume from Caps, actually. They want the tier 2 tower. Jack just spots them out. Baron Recall is going to come in fast. G2 need this mid lane turret. It's 28 minutes in the game, and they still don't find it. Dagda, what do you see? That's an Adam TP directing to find the caps. Weaver's Adam can interrupt. interrupt. Oh no, the wall comes first. The seismic shot doesn't connect either, though. Explosive cast dodged away from G2. Coming to help out the legendary mid laner. As BDS are coming to help out the legendary top. Spinning the wheel here. He's on this jacks against the wall. Shadow can't move. He flashes away to get out as Mickey now rejoins in the fray. Five versus five on the bottom side. As Dragon's five seconds away, and BDS have taken a shocking amount of damage. Flash from Shao, though, and the ult from Adam is completely this gone. Is so this is has to be fought, and Shao's gone so low. Nuke stepping up. He wants to see if he can make the hero play, but they need Ice to get the damage with the calling. After picking up nothing in the side lane, after having no interest there, BDS are like, let's 5v5. But Nuke has Flash and ulti available. Shao on the dragon, immediately at 5k. Denying the soul from G2 is a must here for BDS. The final win is Mickey. Stops the culling. Death charge up as well. Explosive cast separates G2 though, and they can't kill Ice. The damage is so far away. It's Ice again with a triple, and BDS denies the I think we questioned at the start of the year with this 80 carry change. What would the new BDS look like from winter? We got some kind of Ike moving in, Broken Play moving in, looking to defend. How far can BDS push this? To finally take a game off G2 this year in a BO5. It's look in front of their eyes. Few flashes left on BDS, so if someone gets caught, that could be the end of it. Wave's G2, weird. get rid of the wave. Still dubbing can cannons here. Will start to chip away at this turret. Adams moved mid. Is this Caps is feeling like he can go? Oh, out of range. Broken Blade tanking up for the time being. Nukes damage insane though, even with two and a half items. Broken Blade getting get culling as well, unstoppable. But now shielded behind Yaiku, also goes to half HP. Inhibitor turret gonna go down. Caps running for his life from Adam. 
trying to defend too, but Adam's so tanky, taking up explosive cast, eventually hits caps, goes golden, explosive bomb that flies through, won't matter either, as Kriploon heals them up, caps gets chased to the end of the earth, it's revenge for last game, Dagda, and BDS are serving this red hot. You have nothing left here, Hansama needs to try and clear the wave, but just can't quite get it, now we'll get a couple of auto attacks, so the wave will be cleared, BDS, just want to try and rotate up to get this top lane inhibitor while it's still a four versus five. They won't be able to end here, but they got so much in the base of G2. What an achievement it would be to run this a one and one. You're right at death's doorstep, at least G2's death in game number two. Broken Blade tanking up for the time being. ISO not afraid to step forward with the GA. Nuke now setting up the bottom wave as they're going to break all three parts of this base. They need to buy time for caps. Seven seconds until the G2 mid laner is back up, but BDS are just going to back away. The, there is a TP ward just behind them if they Where really want it? to try and overextend, but... Oh, but they're going for Mickey instead. Don't worry about it, because Death Charge is going to be used on the last Remember, he has GA, gets flicked back by Caps. It's nice as he goes into the GA, but BDS trying to finish the job. Adam with a double body slam might have done it. Nuke helps out as well. Meanwhile, on the back line, Yikes doing all he can to slow this aggression, but it's Nuke's story from this team fight we're going to focus on. Shara runs down his counterpart. BDS will do the final touch, and it's not just a case of G2 finding a come back bds still hit hard with their team fights they still came here to play and we're going the distance in this series as we find ourselves sitting in a one for one scores be damned curse be damned bds are here doctor they're here in this upper bracket final bds will deliver g to their first let's just play something chill that can kind of win the lane and kind of play with the rest of the team fight yeah i think it is just going to be chill it's kind of hard you could like, if you go rumble, the Zac has a really good match. He's going to be zoned away. Yike is in this top side. Shayon needs to get up to the top here to help Adam get to the tower. He's coming quick with flash available. Adam's still level one, but Shadow Strike, flash down, crash down. Skyfooter not helping out. Adam dead. First blood over to Hans. I'm a share. the watch. Man, both these top. Well, like, this will be an interesting one to see how it develops with the remaining amount of games we have left. Because in game three, now as we come back, Lebrov stays top. This has not been matched by Adam. He. Went back towards bot side, but you can see Hansama and here Sheo needs to support this ice. push, but ice flash cleanse. He's gonna use one of them both. In fact, actually get burn ignite matching up as well. The range there from Hansama, the zap, the flash, the excitement. LeBron flashes over the wall himself. Hansama gets the range of Glitter Lance helps as well, but it's all a rouge. G2 literally dagged up. Are still in their heads. LeBron against the wall here. Shattering strike. Another kill. I guess the difference is this time is Jike runs for his life. Frustration feels a little bit frustrated after the way the early game's gone. G2 now diving topside. Adam flashes away yet again. This guy has been thrown out of the game consistently. Make it another time. They give it to Hans Summer again. You know what's fucked up is with all the kills going on, it's like the same factor exists like game one, two, where they'll get to a three item jinx and team fight and it can happen again. Caps flashes away. Nuke with an early ulti. Astral flight there, but it's interrupted as the last Comet of Legend flies down as Yike flashes once more onto Nuke who wants a blast cone but won't be given it. The support jungle duo do enough damage to take down the bird person. The share runs in. He's already used a Stormbringer. The, the Aftershock helps out as well. The Ignite 2 Skyspot is going to give some shielding here, but Yike with a Shattering Strike gets rid of it and Mickey gets the kill. They make it work. As he's been hovering around with a lot of these plays. First Heart Blood is going to go to G2 while I'm rambling away about these support ulties. Second turret. They'd already BDS second, got the bomb. Second the turret blood then. <laughs> Very exciting. You're right. Thank you for the correction. But still, G2 with the 2k gold leaders. Singularity is a pain on grubs. Wow. I just found a new OP setup here as the G2 getting away not two, but three grubs. Even Steven. It because we are getting towards our next dragon in two minutes. Broken Blade with the engage here onto Ice is nice, but LeBron following through. Doesn't have the arrow, but does have the damage. Ice on the turret, though. It's going to get bounced on Broken Blade doing it himself. The one man GUI army does so well. Well, meanwhile, G2 are winning bot as well, Dagda. I've got to stop complimenting BDS, start talking about their items because they keep losing more in this early game. And Han's now going to get another turret. G2 arc controlling and dictating the pace of this early stage. There is nowhere that BDS is safe. With BB having TP as well to try and come in, whereas Adam hasn't got the reset, he's so Ooh, far behind. Shea is isolated as well. Magnusorm's gonna come through, Zap helps out, Caps runs on in. Look, he just picked up the skies to send. Mickey picks up the kill and Caps running forward. Gonna set up for Han Sama. Ulti not even needed. Well, look at top! World Ender indeed! It's BDS's world coming oh, apart! Oh god! Nuke sends up the ulti, but the AoE from Caps is enough again. 
just keep giving Han Sama more and more and more and more and more as Caps looks at that final chase, doesn't need it though. G2 pick up the dragon, they pick up more fans in the audience, they pick up a 5k gold leaf, and Broken Blade is making fun of that in this game. Under turret, who cares? And as this went to Caps, they got his own nuke off. Nuke, you are on the wrong side of the map, my friend. So he's just gonna get chased out. Uh, as Caps to goes to kill Ice. Falling star helps with the cleanse. The Rob is just gonna get sprayed out as well. The zap almost hitting, but look, he comes Yike double magnus on beautifully done. Rocket avoided, but LeBrov should still be dead all the same while Yike sacrifices his own life, but it matters not. Another one for Hans Solo. What is happening down here? <laughs> Man, margin boo just on top of a bird. Does he stand a chance? No! I'm counting that as his third solo kill, bro. Broken Blade is making Zach look like a carry. <laughs> get, get flubbed, dude. Oh, yeah. That is you, you say get one flubbed, but Dagda, you might be fired after that one. Adam, <laughs> Adam standing still. He's so over it. Like, don't blame him. Why would you? He's experienced trauma in this game. Is he talking to Swiffer? Adam might try and turn around on Caps. I think. Find out who Swiffer sees that they almost won. You know, the fervor of battle, Leona from Ignar. Nice throwback for everyone. Oh, no. Yeah. Look at Adam's camera. Stone cold. Adam is just done. Broken Blade is farming up on Zach. Do you go Do you go Dark Seal at this point in the Zach? I don't know. But for an upper bracket final, it's now stopped being funny. What are you banned from G2, Dagger? How do you stop this early game plan? in future what is it oh <laughs> okay all right is there jinx lulu a problem or is it just a problem with the game state i don't know because the problem is also top pick influences this too right as uh maybe i should pause bds are looking for a pick here you can see teleport getting channeled this is their last hurrah adam gonna come in he's got flash available but he's level 10. he is level 10. It doesn't matter, Mickey takes all the damage. He wild grows himself to survive, but now Broken Blade's here. A falling star as Nuke gets a good shuffle, but Han Summer getting launched forward doesn't matter. BDS can't get nearby Cavs. They can't get nearby the Jinx. Mickey dies. Dagda looks at his watch. Yes, it is over. 18 minutes. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. you take him on, bud. Yeah, I love this. This is done. It's, it's over. It's so dominant. J.O., you die here, I think. Well, on to Han Summer. Yike. Yeah, he's not going to disagree. Here. Broken yeah, Blade yeah, jumps yeah. in. Stormbringer hunts some up. Still lives. He's just playing with them. Guys, it's 19 minutes. G2 are moving to match point. They already got MSI. Like, if this team plays like this at MSI, I don't think LEC have anything to fear. <laughs> this game, two playing well around the vision controls that he had set up. So you take this one on the chin, but BDS can definitely come back into this next game and force us oh, to that no. game five. Not even letting the steel shag get strong back thanks to the wall. Here we go, skies descend. The slow comes through, and LeBron at the edge of range, but Caps makes short work. Another flight. What time's this one booked for Caps? Oh man, he's flying business, isn't he? Double kill. Is Caps going to get an upgrade to first class? Let's just talk to the stewardess, find out. Double knock up here. Adam still does damage. Broken Blade for the first time. The pass is oh. going to be proc. Ice walking into this with the singularity. Now the execute even bigger as Han Summer unleashed. And Ice ain't going to survive this. No way. Another double over to Han Summer. And I can't believe this out upper bracket final. I can't believe this exists within the same realms of the first couple of games. But we know what happens if G2 are able to play their map their way in the early games interesting games at the very least but moving to match point to once again be in a grand final to once again look for the fifth title in a row it's your region's champions it's your region's favorite g2 moving to match point they set yeah. up the flex. I love this. I love this from Mickey because this sets up two scenarios where you still have the Enchanter, where you have the lane swap scenario going for you. But even if you play the two versus two, you now win the 2v2 in bot lane as well. You're heavily reliant on your damage to be to be relevant. The prop here, there's a flash. Caps flashes in response, even though Nuke won't have that much damage. But with the Ignite down, I bite my tongue. Caps is going to be in a bit of trouble. Broken Blade Mickey coming in, but will he die before the soldier out? The now flashed on two. They can't get the last tick and they're punished. 
G2 exploded up with his top laner as well, but Han Summers just hit level two, so now Aphelios is a champion. Mickey might not be at level one, but the range is there from Calibrum. LeBron gonna get tagged out. Broken Blade setting up the ghost now. Pop versus two. LeBron in the middle again. He's gonna sacrifice his life as Broken Blade flashes on out, but still alive. Adam now again zoned down. G2 brainiacs at this point. The question is with, with these supports, the hurricane comes out, the howling gale rather. LeBron can go in. There's the engage. Adam gonna follow this up, but yikes here again. Mickey flashes away, double knock up. LeBron keeps getting baited, Dagda. He keeps getting baited, man. G2 are not only in their heads, they are mind controlling them. They are puppeteering. Caps gets out too. Shao looking for something. Same story the series though. I mean, Shao will get the other two, so experience will still be gained. Shao the series has been ahead of Yike consistently in every single game. He's had individual experience. He's relatively strong, as you can see, as he takes a good chunk off of BB, but and even with the kills and the assists going over to Han Sam, is still even in the gold. But a G2 are still trading up on how they want to look for objectives on the map, making sure they're in a good spot. And Adam. Ooh. Size but that leaves Adam. Ooh, LeBron vulnerable. trying to bait it out, but Mickey stops it in his tracks, still gets a knock up. But nothing else happens. Now we look towards top side here. Broken Blade trying to clear the way, but he's stunned up before doing so. And BB just absorbing the pressure. Shao turns the turret off for the time being and survives. Away from G2, but BB gonna yeah. spot us. You have Adam moving up there as well. First turret blood on Ophelios. Oh boy, as you said, you're right. Adam should have just equalized the wave. Maybe would have slowed this push here. First turret blood wouldn't have gone down. G2 now 2k gold ahead. I'm glad you pointed out the grubs for Shao as that camera pans back up. Because again, he is still leading in experience. He's still leading in CS. But I think we've now seen from Volibear enough, not just here in this region, but globally. You can control early game. But if you're not able to find picks on Ice is back. Adam's still back, as you said. He's got TP. Will he burn a broken blade? Charging into the turret. Ice goes behind. Doesn't get knocked on up as LeBron. Again, the new target. But Mickey, though, could be the follow up as Adam is burning down Hansama. BDS finally getting something as Yike underneath gets LeBron. Adam is low and Yike still wants him, but he's in the middle of three people. Ice looking for more kills and he'll find it. A double over to the Kaiser that BDS have been. That's one of them. We're not blind. We see where G2 can sometimes be fallible. They might get the dragon here, might be number two, but, but at least Nuke, at least Ice have been getting the resources. Now, Nuke will also get himself solo turret plating gold up in this top side. And also, yes, thanks to Rift Herald, actually have some control on the map. Oh, however, though, let's pause because Caps has just weaved his wall that off. Ice with a good ulti, but is it intelligent enough? Broken Blade just TP in, takes the shutdown, but still the shutdown nevertheless. LeBron caught out as well. One map move again. Has always been good as now we need to pause onto Adam. The pick's there. Seismic Sharp doesn't connect, but Mickey is here to help out as well. Adam getting the G2 top experience as he runs for his life. I mean, it is going to be a trade on the other side of the map, but Caps gets a kill. At least BDS, though, in multiple angles, getting mid and getting bot is pretty good. Dragon in just over a minute 50 is really going to be where BDS with now two, you will have two and a half items completed for ice. They will be able to try and start with Broken Blade. His ulti in could be everything. Equalizer as well for Adam. Watch that quickness from LeBron. Engage so interrupted, he doesn't find it. Hans Summer dodges the equalizer as Ice versus Hans is the play I'm watching, and Ice takes him out. The dragon, ignore that for the time being. His broken blade is getting burnt alive as well. With Terminus, Ice shreds those tanks. Caps running for his life. Shao on all fours yet again. Mickey zone controlling while Nuke still has an ult, he still hasn't flash. Stormbringer still wasn't out. G2 got erupted with two quick kills going over to BDS. And remember, the Baron is now up. And Nuke never used his ultimate, so yeah. G2 try and commit into this play. Nuke can look to get access to the backline. Labrov and the Azir looking to try and play keep away from Yike. They need to keep him out of the pit. Five big shot though, they're going to burn down Labrov. They're trying to zone away. I mean, Yike is still going to get the kill. But now as the tunnel comes through, Yike in smiting range. No, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, BDS get the Baron. Ladies and gentlemen, wipe the sweat If you want to try and get access to that turret. And you don't really have the opportunity to. So Adam, going to take the mid lane tower. And G2, BDS, TP and ult into the rest of the dragon. So Adam, I think he just ult the wave. Yeah, here he goes, equalizes the wave to make sure that you talk about this game. He's 1-0 and 1 and still means business. As Topside Turret close going down for G2, but BDS committing more and more members, now looking for that trade and with the Dragon as well. That's still so good for BDS here as we round towards the late game. Terror will be taken. It's immediately started up. He doesn't have TP. He has to use the Weaver's Wall to get in. Labrov trying to play keep away. It's gone. 
Equalizer onto the wave, though. Adam won't have the ultimate if this is a fight for BDS. He won't, but the engage starts off. Here comes Caps running through. I mean, the engage onto Shao stop with the Stormbringer. Look at the front to back. Han Summer with red and blue. He's got AoE now. Red and white. Everything becomes all right. Quickness from LeBron. The backline engage is good, but no one's with him. No one is with him. Han Summer again, spinning the wheel. Ice, Ice does it! Nuke as well! He's sinister! He's disgusting, but also beautiful at the same time! In Ice we trust, in Nuke we praise, and in BDS we'll take us all the damn way! BDS, despite the early game being all over the place, despite the fact that they tried desperately to catch up at G2, are able to weather the storm, and Ice comes out on top the hero that they needed to push BDS into position. And carries at BDS. I mean, Nuke has been having a year as well. Don't forget, as now chasing down BDS G2. Aren't done yet. Equalizer onto two and dodges away from the seismic shove. Adam gets out. Adam gets out. It's beautiful as Han Summer now has to help deal with LeBron on the side who kills Yike alongside Ice. BDS with a man advantage. Base. I wasn't sure if he wanted to TP in behind G2, but G2 trying to cut the wave. Nuke immediately goes to bot lane. It's going to be a 3v4. Caps, do you stop the reset? The next one, but going towards mid. BDS trying to run this in. Bring us to all five games. Testing out G2 wasn't in the script. Caps. It wasn't in the story. Caps surviving. Also for Nuke, didn't feel like it was meant to be there. G2 now with an open inhibitor. It's still not going to be taken down. BDS are running away. Wait, 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 wait. TP is stacked. The point out is coming through. Nuke still gets knocked up with the Empress Divide. Now used. BDS are in a choke. Caps with a shove. Doesn't connect though. Adam is running through. Still alive as Caps' is damage must be looked at. Equalizer down. The Howling Gale. Great. Yike with a knockout. G2 team fight. No. It's ruining the plans again. BDS has sent packing as the Infernal Dragon now spawns right in front of them for the taking. Ice is still alive though, and G2 used a hell of a lot to get in there. Shurga can spike this Stormbringer, no. It's an objective bounty taken away. Shurga gets shoved back, LeBron with the quickness, but he splits the piece, says the range there is Han Summer thinking about it. The ulti over range, it's Gravitum, it's Ice, now gonna be stuck in place. G2 are looking for this 2v2, or the 3v2, it's unfair advantage. Ice and LeBron won't get out, LeBron is next. And they always find a way, Dagda. On this bottom side, so he's trying to see if he could get the wall in. And now BDS immediately, they want that TP from oh. BB. They will start up the objective. They need ice here, though. Ice is the damage on this Baron. It goes down hella quick for G2. Will it be a flip to the side of the series? Who knows? Caps comes in, shoves there. It is a flip! Yike takes it away. Fails the flash, though, hilariously. But LeBron helps to get out until he re-engages back on in. Hunt Summer is red and whiting. No nuke salty. Comes out later. No! When all seemed gone, when all hope seemed lost, they find that one moment. Is it over, Dagda? Is it over? 30 seconds for mid, 20 for top. Ice LeBrov and Chair have to defend out of their right mind. G2 with Baron crushing on in. The belief of BDS able to take us to a game five is now lost. The Nexus turret dropping down and they're falling like flies. G2, much like water still being wet, are still Europe's champions. Moving to another grand final. This an interview on stage with Caps and Mickey X to round us out. Thank you so much, guys. Not any Caps and Mickey interview because I'm such a huge fan of what you do on the Rift, but off the Rift as well. And I, I've been meaning to ask you how you do all these Caps recaps with Caps. So let's do one live if you want, asking questions to Mickey. Let's go for it. All right. So welcome, everyone. This is Caps recaps, of course, with Caps and Mickey. Uh, and we're standing here today, finalists now of the LEC Spring, uh, taking down BDS. 3-1, uh, how, how do you feel about the, this, this the last game? Um, I have my own microphone, thank you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's okay, but, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that last game was definitely intense, and also like the whole series, they were getting a lot of barons, mm -hmm. but we were just like holding on, praying to outscale, and at the end we outscaled three games, so that was great. And Yike stole the baron and we just won the game on the spot, so that's uh, of course very important. Uh, it was also some, some lane swaps coming in this game, uh, these games, so that's something that hasn't been seen for a while. Uh, where comes, does the inspiration come from? <laughs> uh, I got to swap in LPL one game. All right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's just like a good strategy. With all the up and coming talents, new young players coming in the LEC, we're a bit more older, so we know back in the days how lane swaps work. Maybe they're yeah. a little bit dizzy because 
a lot of the games were really lane swapped. We got good advantages from it, and we avoided lane. So, yeah, it was Te pretty nice. Teaching the kids how to do it. Though, I have a question on swap lane. Why is it back? Because we saw NIP doing it this morning. I had a hint that you come up with this as well today. Are we going to see more swap lane, and why do you think it's that strong, Caps? Uh, well, I, yeah, I mean, they did look pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, the three games we swapped, we won. The one we didn't, we lost. <laughs> so so yeah. it looks like a strong strategy. <laughs> uh, not sure what happened that game, but <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I think aside from that, uh, it's, it's definitely like strong if you, if you can, if you know how to execute it, you know? All right. And it's sure we're going to see other people try it out, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Exciting. About Aurelion Soul, you were the first player in the major region to get a pentakill with this champion. <laughs> Are you OP or is Aurelion Soul a bit too OP as well? <laughs> it's the year of Dragon after all, so that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, for sure, Aurelion Soul is, is very yeah. strong right now. And uh, especially when we get to the super late game, because these games just went very, very late. So, so then it, it's, it's fun when you can just fly the whole map, your E is it's the whole screen. It's, it's a lot of fun. Enjoyable. Do you have any last questions, Caps, maybe? Uh, how do you think we'll do at MSI? <laughs> OK, we're going to send it over to PGL. We have one week to get ready. We'll see if G2 can come up with good answers at MSI. Shocks over to you in PGL. Thank you, guys. That. What the hell happened? <laughs> Not again. Good morning, sunshine. No! Good morning, how are you? Oh my BDSG god. BDSG2. And Here's Red Bull from the Red Bull team. Yeah. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Thanks, yeah. guys. No problem. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can take my spot here. Thank you. <laughs> BB, you can have a pillow of this luxury PGL. It's new version. Here you go, guys. <laughs> I'll sit uh, over here. They didn't see, so they didn't actually know what they were doing, uh, but... You looked fun. Yeah, it looked fun. Uh, was the game fun? Were the matches? Was the match fun? I think it was really fun. <laughs> we kind of spiced it up with some lane swaps, so I hope people enjoyed it. So, you are probably too young, like you begun after the lane swaps. Were you still there? Were you already there when we did when lane I, When I started, the lane swaps just ended. Okay. But uh, we have a great staff who know exactly what is happening. And I think Caps was also in the lane swap meta. Mm -hmm. Do you actually seriously think that that might have been a factor for BDS? Because obviously, like, Sheo started in 2021, uh, Shakares rem reminded me, that if you've never played against it and you don't know it's coming, that is giga confusing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that was also our thought process. We play against Zoomers. <laughs> if we play against Zoomers, they will not know about the lane swap. I do think BDS knows about the lane swap because they did it first with the Scion. Right. Just a different version. Um, but I think we pulled it off quite nicely. Yeah. I mean, game one, you guys saw that they were just ready, waiting for us, and we just we just got killed. So it was a bit sad. But we we were actually wondering, had you scrimmed BDS with the same strategy in the past, since they're so ready for you on that invade, or? Uh, no, we have not. Oh, okay, uh, fair enough. Oh, so but who's been telling them? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to say, good question. It was quite obvious because we picked the Scion right blind. Yeah. yeah. It's not as common nowadays, and they, they again, they did play it before, so they were probably their alarm bells were ringing. We were. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's a good point that you say that they actually did similar things, right, with Adam. But there's a difference between.